I'm Zamponia Podin and I'm currently working at the Organic Technology Laboratory in Switzerland under the supervision of Professor Olivier Gena. And our group is specialized in the development of advanced in vitro model called organ chip, and we are particularly focusing on the lung. Our study comes from a simple observation. The standard preclinical model, what with in vitro or in vivo, are not predictable enough to extrapolate conclusion for human. This is the reason why we wanted to develop a relevant in vitro model we could help us to understand better human biology in health and disease, and also predict accurately the effect of new drug on human. In our case, we are working on organ chip. There are macroengineering cell-based system, which is born of the convergence between macrophagic engineering. Um, biomedical and uh, material science. Thanks to this kind of device, you can really reproduce the cellular composition as well as the macroenvironment of a human tissue. Typically, you can mimic the ECM composition, structure, the chemical macroenvironment, but also some dynamic parameters such as the breathing motion. In our case, we have developed a lung on chip which is based on a biological membrane. The fabrication process here is extremely simple. It only consists of piping a drop of collagen and elastin solution on top of the crate, and after a gelation and drying step, we obtain an array of extracellular matrix. We observe that this substrate is really good for cells for grow and proliferate. This kind of model are a promising tool uh, to reduce and potentially replace animal model because they will um, more accurately uh, predict the safety of new drug on human. So we have quite a very good potential. Yeah, we really see that organ chip really increase in terms of use. What was in industry or uh, even for the regulatory agency, we thought typically that recently uh, FD, uh, the Senate have approved the FDA Modernization Act, which opened the door to alternative model, especially organ chip. So we are really happy about that. I think one of the big questions will be the validation of the model, uh, but it's the case for every other model. We know that we can integrate a lot, a lot of parameters and actually when you are developing them, you really have to select the one which is important for you because the number of things that you can reproduce such as this kind of system, it's extremely large. So you really have to pick up the parameter which will help you to answer your question. Basically, we really work with all skate order, what with industry or academics uh, to be able to provide system which is a bit user-friendly, which is adapted for lab equipment and so on. It's really to create enough robust and reliable data to validate our model. So we have developed this uh, lung on chip based on the biological membrane and now I am using this model for IPF on chip model. So IPF is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. It's a chronic and severe lung disease which is characterized by the progressive scarring of the airway. And basically the consequences of this disease is the increase of sickness and stiffness of the tissue. And this is something that we can reproduce in our model, or at least we wanted to reproduce in our model. And we are currently investigate of the effect of antifibrotic drug on it, because even if there is two drugs which is currently approved, none of them are allowed to solve the disease. So you can reduce it, but at the end, the mortality rate is still quite high with it. So in future step is answer a real world question, let's say that. This is a really, really fascinating tool and promising tool, I have to say. So we are really happy to work on that. Mm -hmm.